Hello, everybody. Welcome to Christ Our Light Scripture and Reflection. This is Tuesday of the 28th week at Ordinary Time, October 11, 2022. Let us begin with prayer. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The Word of the Lord. The response Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, today's gospel is the start of a very tense encounter between Jesus and the Pharisees. The Pharisees were a group of particularly observant and influential Jews. The word Pharisees comes from the Hebrew word meaning separated ones. The Pharisees scrupulously followed the law and the rituals of Judaism. They were held in high esteem by the Jewish people who sought out Pharisees for their interpretation of scripture and their advice on both religious and secular matters. The Pharisees often gathered together for prayer and frequently dined together. In Luke's gospel, the Pharisees believe Jesus is one of them. Several times in the gospels, Jesus is invited to dinner at a Pharisee's home, but the evening always seems to end badly. You see, Jesus makes clear that he neither shares their self-righteous attitude nor their sense of superiority. While the Pharisees are committed to the precise letter of the law, Jesus speaks to the heart and the spirit. The Pharisees focus on deeds and actions, but Jesus emphasizes the love of God that should compel us to such action. More than we realize, we want Jesus to be one of us. But the real question today should be, are we one with Jesus? 
Let us pray. O Lord, make us the means by which your goodness is realized in everything you have created. Make us vehicles of unity through which we come to realize that we are made in your image and likeness and so honor one another as your daughters and sons. Make us advocates for the protection of the common good and the blessed earth you have created for all of us who are brothers and sisters to one another under your loving providence. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.